How are you? My name is Stephen Daedalus and this is the story of my life. I'm 22 years old and from Ireland. If you want to be able to identify with me when we run into each other on the street, you should look for a young person with a large hat, an ash stick and a dirty handkerchief. I usually have glasses but I tend to break them from time to time, so that's not always a reliable way to identify me. As you might expect, I have a mother and a father, and I have many siblings, but we're not particularly close. Let's see. There's Maurice and Dilly and Isabel and Katie and Booty and Maggie and who am I forgetting? Well, you get the general idea. When I was little, I also had an Uncle Charles and an Aunt Dante, but Uncle Charles wasn't really my uncle, he was my father's uncle. And Aunt Dante wasn't really my aunt, she was just a random lady who lived at our house to teach us. I also had an actual aunt and uncle on my mother's side, but we did not see them very often because my father doesn't like my mother's relatives. Our family name, Daedalus, is like the Greek man who created wings to fly from the labyrinth he had created. But his son, Icarus, used the wings to fly too close to the sun, and the substance holding the wings together melted, and the sun crashed to his death. Old Daedalus was a great creator and everything, but on a scale of mentors, he was kind of near the bottom. And my first name, Stephen, is like this nice fellow who was stoned to death by an angry mob. Let's see. My earliest memories are of people telling me stories, and my second earliest memories are of music and dancing. Then I started to school. There were two teams, the White Roses and the Red Roses. The White Roses were the Yorks and the Red Roses were the Lancasters. I was a York. I usually got first place in all of the competitions for learning things, except for when I got distracted thinking about the colours of the roses and the colours of other things, like the awards for first, second and third place. I wanted a green rose. I noticed you could have roses of any of the colours, except for green. I was told I wasn't allowed to have a green rose and that was what I really wanted. And yes, the other children did think I was completely insane. Thank you for asking. I'd like to know where I was in relation to everything. In the front of one of my books I wrote, Stephen Daedalus, Class of Elements, Clonglesswood College, Salins, County Kildare, Ireland, Europe, the world, the universe. Once I broke my glasses and I got in a terrible amount of trouble for it. I wanted to turn around and hide, but the other children made me go and speak to a higher up adult about it. When I was five years old and playing in a lilac garden while my mother sort of watched me, I met a space salesman and I asked him if he could sell me a star, but he said he wasn't that kind of space salesman. When I got to be a bit older, my father and uncle decided that I should take up running. I found this to be a rather unlikely hobby for me, and fortunately I didn't have to take it up for too long. One of my favourite books was Le Comte de Monte Cristo. I read it again and again and pretended to be Edmond Dantes. Then I discovered that if I did this on stage in front of a large group of people, they would clap, and I enjoyed that. Sometimes I would sing on stage as well. I read a lot of plays by Ibsen and Shakespeare, which is how I became known as a, a theatre kid. When I was 10 years old, I met the space salesman again in the coffee room of a hotel. I invited him home to dinner, but he said that he was all right because he could tell that my parents were having economic difficulty and would not be able to afford to feed him. Oh, my father and uncle were there as well. You see, I didn't realise it at the time, but my parents were having real financial difficulty. My father took me around the country when he went to sell things. He was fond of calling us genteel poor. I was still bullied as a medium-sized child. I got into fights with my fellows over whether Byron or Tennyson was the better poet, and shortly thereafter that I committed my first violent sin. But you don't want to hear about that. Then I became very hungry. But then I heard a speech at school and I forgot about food and sometimes forgot to eat for days on end while I was thinking about things. Have you ever considered the sounds words make? They're lovely. Shortly thereafter that I was informed that I would make an excellent priest in the Jesuit order, but for some reason that didn't seem to be my calling. I felt guilty about not taking them up on it for a bit. It seemed ungrateful. I went to walk along the seashore and I saw a stranger wading out in the water. She looked so happy and carefree. I experienced an epiphany. I turned down the offer to become a priest and continued my general education instead. I studied the sciences and grew my knowledge of history and cod Latin, but English was my true love. Three of my short stories were even published, The Sisters, Evelyn and After the Race. Then I decided it was time to leave Ireland and I came to live here in Paris. This has been the happiest time of my life, but I received a letter from home yesterday saying that my mother was ill and I must return. So you see, that is why I must leave now. My name is Stephen Daedalus. I'm 22 years old and from Ireland. I do not know what will happen next, but I know where I am.